We've become quite used to exploring planets with robotic rovers in our stead, particularly in the last 10 years with NASA's Spirit, Opportunity, and Curiosity rovers. But long before NASA roved Mars, the Soviet Union roved the Moon with the twin Lunokhod rovers. The Lunokhod rovers were launched as part of the Soviet Luna program. The rovers were designed to survive the harsh lunar environment. Specifically, the two-week-long lunar day where temperatures rise up to 240 degrees Fahrenheit, and the two-week-long lunar nights where temperatures can drop to below minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. But the benefit of the two-week-long lunar days was ample solar power and sunlight so the rover's drivers on Earth could see where they were going. To move, the Lunokhod rovers relied on wheels, eight fixed wheels with spokes and mesh so that it could move through the lunar dust. But the fixed wheels meant they couldn't turn, so turning these rovers was like turning a tank. Apply more power to one side and it will rotate towards the other side. Actually driving these rovers was a five-man job. One man was the actual driver powering the rover forward and backwards using a joystick. A second man, the team commander, stood behind the driver to watch what he was doing. Rounding out the crew was a guidance officer, a navigator, and a flight engineer that monitored all of the systems. On each rover were two low-resolution TV cameras that sent back a picture of the lunar landscape to the earthbound crew every 20 seconds. It was like a rotating slideshow, telling the driver what he was facing. But the low-resolution pictures made it hard to distinguish surface features, particularly at lunar noon when the sun was directly overhead so nothing cast a shadow. The first Lunokhod rover, Lunokhod 1, landed as the payload of Luna 17 in November of 1970. It roved during the lunar days and hibernated during the lunar nights for 11 months. Lunokhod 1 fell silent on October 4th, 1971, after traveling six and a half miles, transmitting over 20,000 TV pictures, more than 200 TV panoramas, and conducting over 500 lunar soil tests. The next rover was Lunokhod 2. It landed as the payload of Luna 21 on January 15th, 1973 and building off the lessons learned and confidence gained from the previous Lunokhod rover, the mission drivers pushed it to its limits. Again, it roved by day and rested by night, until May 9th. The driver on duty failed to see a crater and drove the rover right in. In his haste to get the rover out of the crater, he brushed it against the crater's rim, dumping soil onto the solar array. When lunar night came and it was time to close the rover's cover, they had no choice but to dump all that soil right onto the radiator, the mechanism that dissipated heat during the lunar days. As soon as the rover opened its cover again after the lunar night had ended, it began to overheat immediately. Lunokhod 2 didn't last much longer after that incident. It went silent on June 3rd. But even if it didn't last as long as its predecessor, Lunokhod 2 covered a lot more ground, nearly 23 miles. It also returned more than 80,000 TV pictures, 86 panoramas, and ran more than 700 lunar soil tests. The Soviet Lunokhod rovers. They happened in space. If there are other topics you'd like to see covered, leave a comment below.